Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode 219 of Constructing Los Angeles. How's everybody doing? We are back on the seat today, ready to continue to make some progress. Last episode, we were working on the McDonald's building. I actually finished the interior of it, uh, you know, added the restaurant part of this building. Still trying to figure out what I want to do with the final plan of this place. Uh, it is still a little bit weird having the tower above. And uh, I did get some pretty valuable feedback in the comments that I'll kind of take into consideration on whether I should keep this thing or not, or move it, or like pretty much just kind of, uh, you know, morph it into two different buildings. That's another possibility I could do because I do like the design of the skyscraper. Um, so I might like just kind of do the same skyscraper and maybe have a different bottom to it and then move the McDonald's somewhere else. That's a possibility. So. Again, I'm still trying to, uh, you know, figure out what I'm going to do with that, but we have the the restaurant furnished, which is pretty cool. So uh, anyway, today I'm going to go and work on some more things related to food, and that is going to be the food court in the subway. We're going to start off with that today. Uh, what I did was I actually kind of just cleared out all that sand that we saw a couple of episodes back when we were working in here, and I just kind of put down some glowstone, put down some stone slabs in the floor, just kind of created myself a little bit of space to work with here. We're going to have to light this thing a little bit more properly because right now it's... It's pretty dark and ominous in here, and I don't want it to be like that. So basically, my plan is I'm going to build a food court in here, and I'm going to have several different restaurants, hopefully Los Angeles themed. I'll have, you know, probably a McDonald's booth. I'll have uh, one for Flower Pot Coffee Shop and, you know, several others. So we'll kind of do like everything that we've done, like for the stadium as well. We kind of had like all the sponsors of all the, the main restaurants in the city. So um, we'll do that in here and kind of go from there. I, I'm hoping that I could have two restaurants on each wall. So there'll be six in total in this food court. And then like, kind of in the middle here, we'll put some just tables and chairs for people to sit while they're waiting for their train. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm just going to start off with basic blocks at the beginning here just to kind of get like a little, um, at least like a little frame of what I want to do here. So I can always like knock out these walls further in the back to create like kitchens and things like that. Right now, I'm really just focused on just actually making like the areas where you order your food. So uh, we'll kind of work on that later on. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm gonna take like a counter and make it two blocks wide and basically just run this all the way down to the other wall. And I'm just gonna start to divide it from there. So thank you guys very much for tuning into today's episode of CLD. Uh, we are on episode 219, one away from 220. Uh, I don't, I think the last time I did a recap was 209. So that was only 11 episodes ago. So I don't think we need to do a, uh, a recap episode uh, next episode, but we will uh, do something. I'll probably do a post commentary next episode because it's been a few episodes since we did one of those. Again, I've been kind of, you know, really grinding out CLD lately, trying to work on it as much as I can this busy time of year for me. So um, I've been getting some stuff done that I'm going to work on in future episodes pretty soon. So uh, obviously there's a bunch of things that I need to mention, like the snow biome. We're going to make some changes to that very soon. Uh, we also need to make some changes to uh, the beach area, figure out what we're going to do over there. So there's a bunch of things that we still got to do, and I'm going to start to get to those things within the next couple of episodes. So uh, that is the plan. And what, what it basically just did right there is just kind of created like, you know, three different countertops, basically. And we're going to have the like, dividers in between each one of these. So again, two restaurants per corner, so six total. And then I just decided I wanted to add these little pillars in here to kind of just separate that space. So I also have a question of the day that I would like to get to at some point. So just make sure I don't forget guys. <laughs> and uh, we'll get to that pretty soon. So uh, let, let's just see here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So basically we kind of have to divide this right down the middle and hopefully this is gonna work. If not, then I can always extend it. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five here and one, two, three, four, five, six. So obviously that's not very symmetrical as you guys can see. So what I can do, and this there's an easy way to solve this problem. Um, I can just kind of push back this counter here and then kind of push back that wall on a later date and just push it back one block. That won't be too much of a problem. All right, so uh, if this counter gets pushed back, then we have to break this and break these pillars and then we'll kind of replace those. Uh, but I think I will just kind of get to the question of the day right off the bat. Uh, since I, you know, I'm trying to make an effort to not answer them 15 minutes into the video because, um, you know, that's just something I want to kind of like do, you know, right towards the middle. So today's question of the day comes from Atomic Nuke. And the question is, would you rather use Flow's HD texture pack for LD or stick with the city texture pack? 
It flows HD uh, comes to Xbox, obviously, which is unlikely. <laughs> Or would you rather use your own custom texture pack? So I think we've had variations of this question in the past. I think people have asked me so, uh, something along the lines of, you know, would you use Flows HD in the city texture pack? Or would you use it on Xbox? And I think we've had variations of this question, but in my short answer for that, would I'd probably go with a custom texture pack. Uh, I know you guys might be surprised due to my love for Flows HD, but uh, Flows HD, you know, in case you're not, you, you don't really know how texture packs work. Uh, Flows HD is a, a very detailed texture pack. Very, very detailed. It's a 128-bit texture pack. So uh, it's it's basically that means, if you know you don't really know what that means, it basically means that it's way more detailed than anything you're going to find on Xbox. So for example, Xbox texture packs are like, you know, 32-bit at best, I think. I don't think there's any 64-bit texture packs on Xbox. I know for a fact, you know, just, just to put in reference, the default texture pack is an 8-bit texture pack. So... Um, that just kind of gives you a reference for that. And, you know, the thing about the Flows HD is it, it's so detailed. And I'm not even sure if it's possible for, like, them to make a, that detailed of a texture pack on Xbox. Um, if they couldn't, then I'd probably go with a custom texture pack. And I probably would go with a custom texture pack anyway, because I thought... It, I always, like, think it would be really cool to create your own texture pack on Minecraft. And, by the way, just to quickly interrupt myself... I uh, kind of have these dividers in here. I'm realizing that this is an even number. Again, you guys know that I don't like even numbers because it always messes things up. So um, this is an even number entering in here. So basically how this is going to work is I'm going to have two food courts, uh, one here, one here. And then I'm going to have another one there and another one there. And then there's only going to be one here. So I'm probably going to make the biggest one there. Uh, I'm just kind of putting in sample colors for right now just to kind of you know figure this out. But getting back to the question... Uh, I'd probably go with my own custom texture pack because I think it'd be really cool to build one. Just kind of create your own. I could like take all of like, you know, just design my own blocks and everything exactly how I'd want it. And I think that would be really fun to do. So I think uh, my short answer would be I'd go with the custom texture pack option. Uh, but it would be close because Flows HD is like the perfect texture pack. I'm using it on my Let's Build on PC right now. And it is just, it's a dream using that texture pack. There's just so much things you can do creatively with it because you, you're just really have every block open to you. And the thing about the texture packs on uh, 360 right now, or just console in general, is a lot of them are really just kind of like um, based off of one theme, so they're not very universal. The thing about the Flows HD texture pack is it's universal. You can pretty much use the Flows HD texture pack for any kind of build. Like, for example, the City texture pack, it's not really a texture pack that you can use for like a fantasy build, although the castle does look pretty good in the City texture pack, ironically, and then... These, the fantasy texture pack, on the other hand, isn't really that great for modern builds. But now that I think about it, the I actually did like a I think I did a modern house tutorial in the fantasy texture pack a couple years ago. That was that was a little weird, but uh, that's a little ironic as well. But the point is that the texture packs on Xbox are really meant for one theme. There, it's awesome to have a texture pack that's like uh, good for multiple themes, like the Flows HD is. So uh, but definitely, it's definitely an interesting concept trying to choose between all that stuff. Ultimately, I'd probably make my own texture pack though. I think that'd be really cool. And plus, it would allow me to put my own kind of theme on my city. You know, I could create my own blocks and, you know, I could really just kind of build my city around the blocks that I choose. And I think that would be pretty cool. So uh, that, that's my answer, not to ramble on too much longer. I'd probably go with a my own custom texture pack. I think that'd be really cool to do. Um, and I always wonder how people even do that. Like, how do you even make a texture pack? That's something that's pretty interesting. So, so thank you very much for that question, Atomic Nuke. And of course, you guys know what to do to leave your question of the day submissions in the comment section or send them to me on Twitter. And I'll go through, see if I can find one that I want to answer for next episode. And we'll go from there. So right now we kind of have this, you know, starting to take some shape here. I'm going to kind of get rid of some of this glowstone since I already put some in the ceiling. Starting to take some shape here. Um, now I got to figure out what I want to do with each one of these things. So... Uh, I'm trying to decide how I'm, how I'm going to do this because I want to kind of divide these nicely, but I'm not 100% sure how I should do it. Maybe if I did, if I did this, like how would that look? If I, if I kind of like took that out like that. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I like that. So we'll do that. We'll have this extend out and let's decide which one or which each of these are going to be. So let's stick with the McDonald's theme and let's do the McDonald's is going to be right here on this one. Like the big wall is going to be the McDonald's because let's be real. When you're in the subway, everybody wants fast food, so let's just, uh, let's do that. And then we're going to do a flower pot coffee shop, of course. We got to have that. So we'll do that right here. So we'll do green for the flower pot coffee shop. 
And I'm trying to think of other things we could do. So let's do blue because I think we had some uh, some blue little areas in the stadium, like these blue food court areas. I, I might even fly over there to take a look at it, but we'll do those three. And then we'll do one that's yellow since that's fine. And then I guess we could do just like every color, just have a bunch of different colors. So let's do an orange here and we'll go like that. So I'm going to have to come up with some new food brands here for Los Angeles because we have a lot of food brands, but they're all like, you know, just single restaurants. So, I mean, if I'm flying around the city and I got to think about this for a second, um, we have Outback Steakhouse. Obviously that's not going to be one. We have the McDonald's. We already got that. We have Flower Pot Coffee Shop. We already got that. Um, I think in the stadium over here, which actually, you know what? Uh, no, let's fly the stadium. We're, we're already over here. Uh, in the stadium, we have, I think we have a couple of different options. We have, oh, this place. This is the, the hot dog stand. I guess we could add something like this. Um, this place sells a bunch of stuff. Okay, so um, yeah, that's fine. So we can do something like this. Actually, that's actually pretty cool. So we'll do something like that. Uh, just like a little hot dog stand or something like that. And then over here, we have a couple of little stands. So we'll do something like this. Like basically, oh, we can do like an Italian themed one with like three different colors. That would be cool. And then we'll do a blue one. So yeah, that's what we'll do. All right, we have this figured out. So let's fly back over and we'll kind of put those in start to put down some other details in that place and and go from there so let's fly back over to the subway and keep on going with it but uh yeah i think after this the subway is gonna be pretty much done i'm still considering adding like a second track to this thing because you know only having one track is a little weird so we'll see if that if i can find the space for that but i'm gonna grab some light gray wool and that's this is gonna be like the little hot dog stand that we saw in the stadium because there is a white wool theme on that one so that will be that and uh let's see what else we can do let's do like an italian themed one so red and green as well with the white and we'll do that right here so let's see we're gonna have red i guess this would work perfect um like that so because there's six of them so it does go green white red right it's not the other way around uh let me confirm this because i'm pretty sure i did this right on papa's pizzeria i think i researched it made sure i was right in terms of like the order it goes green, uh, white, red from left to right. Okay, so let me uh, go back and double check that real quick. Make sure that I uh, did it right. So green. All right, so we got it. We're good. So they're gonna, those are going to be the themes of the food court. So we got like a little Italian food. We have a hot dog stand. We got flower pot coffee shop. We got some... I'm not really sure what this is going to be. I, I, I got to look back at the theme of that on the stadium. And then this, of course, is going to be the McDonald's. So... For the McDonald's, uh, what I can do is I can actually put the arches. I think I can. Actually, I might not be able to because this, again, you know, the uh, the even number strike again. Because there's really no way for me to do that. Um, what if I just did it, like, on the side? Or maybe I had two of them? Yeah, trial and error, people. Trial and error. All right. So, essentially, this is not going to work is what I'm looking at here because it's just too big. Yeah, that's way too big. So, we're not going to be able to add the arches, unfortunately uh that's all right though okay so we have that and the next thing we're gonna do is i'm gonna grab some quartz slabs i'm just gonna kind of line underneath of each one of these things here just to kind of close this off from each side we're gonna do that and then i'm gonna start to add some detail to it all right so there we go and then one more right over here like that all right so now let's add some details so for the flower pot coffee shop uh since flower pot coffee shop has a theme of spruce wood and green wool I'm going to use um, some spruce wood as the counter here, and I'm also going to throw down some light gray carpet over top of that, and this is going to be the flower pot coffee shop counter, okay? And then, of course, I'm going to put down all of the signs right now um, along the thing, so uh, let's see. How do I want to do this? Because I could, like, have them hanging from the back, so what I mean by that is I could grab some some spruce woods uh, fences here. I can kind of have this go down like this and like that. And I can have some signs hanging off of right here like that. And you can kind of read those that could work. And of course I need the registers. So I'm going to do some uh, quartz registers on this one. So we'll do those right below the signs like that. And you can kind of order your coffee. That's going to be perfect. Uh, and then for this one, how am I going to do this one? I just, I'm just trying to make all these unique as I, if I can. So that's really the goal here. Uh, for the McDonald's, we're going to have a bunch of different ones. So we've got one. Uh, we'll put one here. And let's see. We're going to go here and here. We'll do four total registers because 
you want the uh, the line to keep moving with the McDonald's. So uh, as far as the line is concerned, I think I'll probably do some, uh, let's do cobblestone walls for the line. So we'll have this go down like that and right here. And basically kind of just like, you know, obviously you grab your food from this side if you're using this register, same thing here from here. So there's a slot for each one, so that works. And that's gonna be the McDonald's line. I'll probably knock this down actually one last block so these guys aren't, you know, losing customers even though, let's be real, they're not gonna get as many as McDonald's. All right, and then of course uh, on the McDonald's stand, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some yellow and some, and actually, what should I do with this? Maybe some yellow wool with the, the light gray. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do uh, light gray wool with yellow carpet. That's what we're gonna do. All right, so put this down in here. I'm kind of replace the counter again. We're trying to make each one of these things stand out from each other. So they're all a different theme and all unique because we're trying to add as much, as much character to the city as possible. And this kind of stuff is how you do it. All right, so I'm gonna put down the yellow carpets kind of going around this and then we're gonna kind of move on to the next one. So there's our McDonald's area right there. That's pretty good. I gotta put some more lighting in these ceilings too. So I'm worried that this is gonna stick out to the, yeah, this is gonna stick out to the second level. So the way I'm gonna solve this problem is use my lighting design that I used in the McDonald's last episode. All right, so let's see here. And people are calling that I call it McDonald's. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. I still haven't decided. Uh, I kind of just wanna stick to like, I, everything on the city kind of has its own name except for the McDonald's and the Outback Steakhouse. Since those are like actually commercial chains, I figured that I wouldn't re try to rename them or like put puns on them because then it gets kind of silly. So I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do uh, a, a, a pun for McDonald's and call it McDonald's. I'm not sure yet. If I do that, you know, who knows what'll happen, but uh, I'll probably just leave them how they are right now and just kind of stick with like the main names that you see every day, so. Uh, but it is kind of an interesting thought for sure. <laughs> And I wouldn't, I don't even know what I would do to like rename Outback Steakhouse. Like what would, what do would I do with that? So that would be a little interesting. Uh, all right. And then in the middle here, well, first off this, this, um, this cobblestone that's right here, this is actually going to be sticking out to the, yeah, this is, this goes out to here. So I'm trying to decide if I want to just kind of scrap this just for the sake of this, or I should kind of just continue it, have it go down to like there. I think I'll do that because that kind of does look a little bit better on the inside. So we'll do that. And I'll just kind of make sure that looks good on the second floor up here. So, um, oh yeah, that's that's fine. We'll we'll leave that. And you know what I could even do? I could actually even just kind of continue it all the way down through here. So I could have it run off the edge and then kind of go down like that. And then I could even continue it even further, kind of like bringing it down to here. So, just to add a little bit. All right, that's fine. And what else can we add in here? So let's uh before we're, like this episode is over, let's just add a few more things. And the last few things I want to add are just a couple of tables. We're just gonna do some small tables that you can kind of stand around or sit, you know, the choice is yours. So let's just kind of figure this out. So I'll have one here and we'll kind of just jump these two blocks away from each other. So uh, we got three there and we'll put one there and there and there. So just kind of have, you know, several tables, like some small tables, just one block. Uh, here and you can kind of just stand around those and eat your food while you're waiting for your train I'll probably put a couple of table or a couple of chairs around each one of these uh, You know just depending on which ones they are so do like maybe two on that one put one there I just kind of have you know a bunch of chairs kind of like randomly you know, Sorted around the building. So that's pretty cool uh, We got the flower pot coffee shop. That's good. We got McDonald's I I'm gonna have to find a way to make these a little bit more Recognizable because right now it just kind of looks like a little red area. So uh, for the Italian restaurants, what should we do for this one in terms of just changing up the counter, making it a little bit different? I think I might just go with some something simple, just do some quartz, just a quartz counter, nothing too fancy about it. And I'll just do a, a green wool on top of that, green wool carpet, or just green carpet, whatever they call it. We'll do that, just kind of keep that one simple. And then the last one over here, I'm going to do with some blue, and I'm going to do some red, and then I'm going to do some white, because that's kind of like the same theme as the stadium all right so we're gonna do some blue and some red and then the white is gonna go across the top here like that and that's gonna be the counter for that space so uh then the last one we have to do is over here this one's gonna be acacia wood i think i'm just gonna do some acacia wood on this one you might think what the heck dan i've never seen you use acacia wood before but i'm going for it i'm gonna do it and uh i think i'll just leave like the counter just acacia so 
Uh, those are going to be all the food courts, you know, kind of everything's customized now. I'm just going to quickly add the, uh, the cash registers for each one of these real quick. And, uh, and then after that, really all I have to do is just make the kitchens in the back. So I'm going to kind of have like a door open, maybe put a window on it and have the kitchens, you know, visible from the area where you eat, you order your food. And that's pretty much how it's going to go. So, uh, just like that, I think we have a pretty solid, like start to a food court in here. This looks pretty good. I think it needs a little bit more customization in terms of just kind of separating each one of these things. And, you know, right now, you know, if you, if you were new to the city, you would have no idea that this was flower pot coffee shop. And you'd have no idea this was McDonald's, so we're gonna have to figure that out. Uh, I'm not really sure how I would do that, how I would kind of add it, add that to it. Maybe I can put some golden arches in the back behind here. And I can put the flower pot coffee shop logo behind here on the wall. So uh, there's still more possibilities that I can do, but I think that's gonna be good for today. Thank you guys very much for watching. It's been Dan Langs. I'll see you guys on episode 220 of CLD. And uh, you guys can leave your question of the day submissions in the comment section or send them to me on Twitter if you want to participate. And if I find one that's really good, I will answer it for next episode. And that's pretty much it. Give it a like if you enjoyed, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys on episode 220 in a few days. Until then, have a good day and peace out. Mm -hmm.